Good morning. My name is Murray Anderson. I'm from the Teaching and Learning Support Center at Royal Military College. And I'm going to show you how to add an image to a Moodle course, float it to the right, add some sample text so you can see the text float around the image, and uh, show you how to use the uh, browser inspect facility to help out in doing this. Number one, I have created a la blank label here in a sample Moodle course. So I'm going to open it for editing. And uh, the first thing, I guess, is to put the image in. As you probably know, you click on this button here to insert or edit image. And I have the link already available. And uh, we put in some text for people who can't see it. Adorable doggy. And you will note that uh, the image is taking up the whole of the uh, window here in the Atto editor, and it will not leave any room for text, which would have to come after it. Sometimes you want to float the text to the left or right. OK, so you can go into the Atto editor, like so and do HTML editing there, and some of you might prefer that. But um, you can also use the browser inspect facility, which has some advantages. OK, so I'm going to right click here. This, this is just anywhere on the page, uh, out on a browser page. Go to the bottom here. And you see Inspect. It's somewhat similar in other browsers like uh, Firefox and Opera. And you see uh, somewhat the same kind of thing you saw when you used uh, the HTML editor in Atto. But this has some advantages. You can see the image tag, the source, the alt, adorable doggy. And it's got a width and a height. And there's some classes in here which make the image uh, responsive, so it resizes. So first of all, what I'm going to do here is go in and change the uh, width and height by editing this uh, image as HTML. Edit as HTML. And uh, surprise, surprise, you have an HTML editor in your browser. I'm going to wipe out the uh, width and height here and put in a style statement. And put width colon 50% semicolon float colon right. So this should give us a smaller image floated to the right. So I'm going to click out of here, and it works. Wonders never cease. Now, I don't know what the best thing to do next is. Perhaps the best thing is to put in the text, as promised. I'm going to go here. Edit that as HTML, and 
and go get some lorem ipsum text. What is this? Uh, something from uh, Cicero. And go back here. And we will put it, I'll put it in the same paragraph. Control V. And out we go. Now, uh, looks like there's a break in here. So there's an extra line here, which I'm not sure I really want. So I will go back in here. and delete that element and there we have the text starting a little sooner. Now one other thing we need um, uh, first of all before going on to uh, putting a caption on this uh, image I'm just going to close the uh, uh, inspect. You can see this thing. Uh, you resize it. Uh, it wraps around. Uh, it'd be nice to have a, uh, a caption just under the uh, dog saying what it is, who photographed it. So I'm going to go in and inspect again. And something you should probably put around most images is a figure tag. And I'll show you how this is done. Edit as HTML. As you can see here that all the image, whole of the image tag is now editable. But uh, what I want to do is put in a figure tag which wraps images and lets you put in captions. And uh, note here that we have the uh, figure has been closed immediately so it doesn't wrap the image so you have to go in and control X and go to the end of the image tag and control V. Now the figure wraps the image and it shouldn't make much difference. Let's see what it, if, how much difference it makes when I just click out of there. Not very much. Um, what we really need is the caption. Edit that as HTML, and we'll put a fig caption at the end. This is a sub tag of the figure tag. Quite convenient, actually. Caption. Hmm. There. Again, it closes the tag. So we'll say this is a adorable dog photo by Andre speaker at unsplash source of free images now let's see what happens. Okay, that's the tag. Looks like it's not where it should be. And that is because we need to move the uh, styling to the figure. Actually, that's not entirely true, but I will, uh, in any case, do it that way. Edit as HTML. And we copy the style tag because we're going to need some styling in the image itself. Copy. 
control V. And I don't think both floating right is right floating rights are needed, but let's see what happens. Okay, it's still not quite right. The image is uh, uh, half the size it was, a quarter of the width, uh, because uh, we've done two 50%. 50 percent. 50 times 50 is 25. So what you want to do here is make this 100 percent. And there we have it. So there are a few things to get used to. And as I say, I don't think the second uh, float right is really necessary, but I'm just going to leave it in. Now, since we have uh, a tag in here, the fig caption tag, we could edit that and uh, make the text uh, center and bold the text, which I think I will do. Edit as HTML fig caption style equals text align colon center and font weight colon bold that should give nicer styling. Click off and there you have it. Okay, that's probably good enough. And we will close the uh, inspect window. And now we have the whole thing uh, looks ready to go. Now, be careful before taking this final step, because so far you haven't permanently saved these changes. Um, but if this is what you want, uh, and you've backed up your course beforehand, just so you won't mess anything up, but, or you can go back, save and return to course. And there you have it. And as you can see, I... Uh, should edit spe uh, Andre's speaker's name, so there's a lowercase p for the second letter. But let, before doing that, let's go in here. And as you can see, everything resizes nicely. And the text wraps the way it should. So let me go back in again and Make that final change, speaker, P, lowercase. And uh, I should probably put the accent on Andre, but I won't do that right now. This video is long enough. Thank you very much, and I hope that uh, will be helpful to some people.